Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. Manny Carl back for another Let's Talk on the Division. Today we have a lot to get to, so we're going to try and hurry up and get this over with. We'll cover on our main topic, assault rifles versus SMGs and how they should be balanced against each other, and we'll discuss broken gear sets. And then we'll probably wrap up with a note on the predatory weapon talent if you haven't heard about that yet and why you want to be using that right now. So let's get going. Alright agents, without moving any time, let's go ahead and just dive right in. One of the most glaring issues in the game is weapon balance, and we all see it because we all use SMGs and M1As, and you know those are the two most OP weapons in the game. People are going to use them because that's what people do, is they use weapons in the game that work for them and you know give them the advantage. So it's obvious that there needs to be a patch or something that allows for weapon balancing, which should hopefully come next. And this this patch, however, should have allowed for the use of other weapons, and people should be using them because that's what the gear sets were uh, aimed at doing. Now, but everybody is still using the SMG marksman rifle combo. Now, there's a rare few out there, and you know who you are. You're using the assault rifle, LMG, or shotgun, but because the gear sets are so broke or underpowered, even having a plus 800 to power for an assault rifle isn't enough to get people to change a weapon because who knows what that even means. Now, I want to see the major differences between what assault rifles were and SMGs. Now, besides the obvious critical hit damage that's added to SMGs, there is one major distinguishable trait that separates SMGs for auto, from auto rifles, and that is damage drop-off over a long range. Now, this should be obvious enough to make them equal, but it's not. And I'll give you a few reasons why. The first is we can see these things in PvP, and PvP is always the, the ultimate equalizer of a weapon. And if people are using one weapon in PvP, it's because it is the most OP weapon that's out there. Now, PvP fights are usually qu close quarters. You're not finding that, you know, sniper battles, you're not seeing those out there. And, and rarely do PvP events take place at distance, making the SMG a much more useful tool, since the only time you need a distance weapon is when rogues turn around and run from you, which is pretty much all the time because rogues are giant pussies. And this is why most agents use a marksman rifle, because at close range, the SMG out damages the assault rifle by a massive amount because of the critical hit damage and the marksman rifle dominates at long distance. This makes the assault rifle, LMG, and shotguns useless in PvP for the most part. Now I'm not saying they're 100% useless, but for the most part, if you have these two weapons and you have a good roll on them, that is pretty much what you're doing. Since we are only covering assault rifles though, having two superior weapons will always be better than having one average weapon. Uh, at a good distance. Now, the issue here is that the SMG is grounded in fiction rather than reality. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go ahead and drop some knowledge here. And this is actually more of a, uh, you know, real world issue rather than a uh, game world issue. Now, if anybody who has played Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, or any other game with an SMG knows that these guns aren't powerful, they aren't accurate, and they should never be used as the main weapon in a game. That's why when I first started playing The Division, I stayed away from SMGs because I had been conditioned to realize that SMGs were a second tier weapon, they should be only pulled out as a, you know, a last resort uh, other than a pistol or something like that. That's how I was conditioned. It's how all the games are for, or pretty much. I mean, I play Counter-Strike and your SMGs are basically your low cost guns and your assault rifles are your high cost guns and LMGs and sniper rifles and so on. So now while most of the SMG weapons are probably categorized correctly, there is one and that is the Stair Aug should not be classified as a submachine gun. Maybe the Vector as well, but I, I'm not as familiar with the Vector. I'm more familiar with the Stair Aug. And it, it either needs to be declassified as a assault rifle or an LMG, or it needs to be uh, released uh, as a submachine gun and 
act like a submachine gun. Now, the submachine gun class version of the AUG fires 9mm rounds in real life. This is, a, this is a real life scenario. I'm not talking about Tom Clancy's fictional world. If Tom Clancy was alive, he would probably say the same thing, and he'd probably slap massive around for actually making uh, guns that were unrealistic to the real world scenario. Now, the submachine gun class version does fire the 9mm round, and thus it should be doing damage as a 9mm pistol, not as the same as or powerful than an assault rifle. If it was classified as assault rifle and it was using, you know, 7.62 by 54 hour rounds or something like that, then I can see that. But it's not. It's using, uh, it's classified as submachine gun, and the submachine gun version uses pistol cartridges. Now, that that is... The, you know, there are th other factors into this. And, and in fact, the very definition of a submachine gun is a semi-automatic carbine that shoots a pistol cartridge. Secondly, submachine guns are rarely as accurate as the AUG or the Vector. These things are rail guns. Anyone who fi who's fired a Mac 10 in real life will tell you that the guns represented in the game are about as fictionalized as the story in the division itself. Nothing, none of it's real. You can't aim a Mac 10 down the barrel and end up getting as accurate shots as you can at that, you know, at that range. So, in order to balance this out and maintain a level of fairness of the weapon genre, submachine guns should have damage similar to pistols and uh, sidearms, but keep the added crit hit chance. Sure, that's great. I can I can get on board with a crit hit chance. I don't know why there's a crit hit chance, but I can get on board with it. Now, the damage drop over distance shouldn't drop off, but become less accurate over longer distances. Now, the accuracy on these submachine guns are not accurate at all. You don't see a guy in the military earning his marksman rifle ribbon by shooting a submachine gun down a field. No, they're using actual assault rifles. You know, they're not using submachine guns. It's just, uh, it's not, it's not happening. Sure, you can, you could probably qualify, and people out there who know what I'm talking about are probably shaking their head agreeing with me. You wouldn't use a submachine gun to qualify as a marksman. It's just not going to happen. Now, assault rifles should have a higher damage output than a submachine gun because they fire a larger caliber, caliber bullet. Now, if the steer AUG wants to be classified as a assault rifle, then sure, give it a higher caliber bullet, make it, you know, give it a higher damage or something like that. Now, I understand fully that this is a fictionalized game, but this is a Tom Clancy game, and Tom Clancy games are somewhat based around a simulation event or something like that. And they should have experts on hand being able to chime in on this, because while I have some knowledge on guns and mechanics, I'm no expert. I'm not a military trained stayer AUG professional or anything like that. I probably know as much as you do, and just go Google search it for the most part. And, you know, assault rifles should have a standard magazine that is smaller than an SMG. Since SMGs utilize a smaller round, most SMGs can fit a bigger magazine uh, into the cartridge and, and there's more bullets to be fired. Also, SMGs should be limited on the type of scopes that they have. It, I, it's, they are to, an, uh, to a, a small extent, but not really. You shouldn't be having a uh, 3.5 scope zooming in using an assault rifle as a, as a sniper rifle. It's just not what, the way it works. Now, you sh they should be completely short range and medium range and have a massive drop off over long range for accuracy. Now, this would allow for the two weapons to be balanced and actually create pros and cons for why someone would actually use one over the other. Right now, SMGs are in a class by themselves and they are superior in every way to any weapon in the game right now. Because people will use the weapons in the game that give them the significant advantage over others, which right now is the SMG class. No other class gives you an advantage. We'll talk more about this the next time when we cover LMGs and shotguns and how the, they should be utilized in the game to make things more balanced all around for every single weapon in the game. So since we're talking about assault rifles, there are a few armor sets, and armor sets were really made this time around to cover uh, and, and encourage you to use other sets of weapons. And it just didn't happen that way. Uh, it, they did. Yes, I granted there... It, the issue here is that these gear sets fail in every way in a spectacular fashion. The narrow-sided way they half-heartedly added in weapon bonuses without actually testing the balance makes it less than ideal to even use these weapons in conjunction with these sets. They really erred on the side of, well, less is more. 
and they'll be happy with a 1,000 plus bonus to the weapon as opposed to an actual bonus, which would be like 5,000 bonus to the weapon. Now, 1,000 plus to LMGs and shotguns, which is uh, the Predator's Mark set for one set, and then uh, the 800 uh, plus to assault rifles and 700 plus to pistols. Who thought of that? That was absolutely a terrible idea. You you basically said, we don't actually care about these weapons, so we're just going to kind of go ahead and throw these on a set and have it really mean nothing. And in, in that light, I don't actually really understand what 1,000 plus really means. Is, is that a number? Is it damage? Is it? You could pretty much say that Massive really just put that number there to kind of make up what it is. Nobody knows, is it, is it damage? Is it damage output? Is it DPS? What, what is it that it's 1,000 plus to, you know, we, we see it on Marksman Rifle. Oh, it's, uh, you know, uh, 2,600 plus to Marksman Rifle damage or whatever. There's, there's nothing really there to indicate what those numbers mean. So they could mean anything. They could mean nothing. We have no idea. It could say a billion, and it wouldn't make a huge difference. 800 plus damage to an assault rifle barely puts it on par with a high-end dog or a vector whose damage can top out between 12 and 14,000 damage. I know because I have a 14,000 damage AUG, and it's 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 pretty epic, but. There's no assault rifle that I have that can equal the firepower that I have on that, and that's not the way it should be. Most people will tell you that they will take an assault rifle over an SMG any day. Now, most assault rifles barely top out at 11K, and adding in 800 plus whatever damage or whatever really doesn't help it to be on equal ground. Now, at least these sets are possibly working correctly at least with two or three pieces but sadly most of the four set pieces aren't working as intended or they're working in another uh sort of alternate reality where the text isn't exactly what is going on so let's take the final measure for instance while it works sometimes it doesn't work all the time this is apparent if you're wearing different gear or you switch gear while you have four pieces equipped and it should be noted that this is specifically calls out hand grenades and not other thrown grenades. So it says damage an enemy with a hand grenade. And in my hand grenade wheel, I know that I have four hand grenades. I have two incendiary. I have a shot grenade. And it really should proc when you damage an enemy with any of the grenades that you have, not just with hand grenades. And right now, it's only working with hand grenades, and at least it says hand grenades, but that's it. So you have four chances to really get that diffusal buff unless you get, get it, and the enemy throws grenades at you, you throw them back, back and forth, back and forth, and that's really all it's good for. So it should be noted that the proc doesn't always happen. So you can only damage enemies with a grenade to get the proc to happen, and it just, it just doesn't. It doesn't always happen. You're not gonna, uh, the first time I used it, I actually got the little mark at the very bottom, and it said, hey, you have a, uh, you have a grenade proc and or diffuse and they threw the grenade and the little green line went down to the grenade and it diffused it and I picked it up and it was all good now the second time it didn't do it and I was kind of wondering I was like okay well that's weird uh, so I damaged an enemy with a grenade and I threw it he threw a grenade at me and it just it didn't make any noise it just sat there and the little red thing went away so I was like oh what's going on here and so it's it's really you know it's really hard to uh, say that it, it is working as intended, but it's not really working as intended. If you don't get a proc or a prompt that says, hey, this is working, then uh, you really have no idea. So the Predator's Mark build is one of the most broken pieces. So the four set pieces say that you can hit a guy 10 times with bullets as long as you don't switch targets and he'll bleed for the amount of damage of those 10 bullets. Well, that's not the case. He'll bleed over five seconds for the last bullet hit. So if you hit him one time with a, say like, let's let's just say 2000 damage uh, with the final bullet and of uh, the 10, He's going to bleed over the five second period, uh, 2,000 every like half second or something like that. And it'll equal something like uh, 5,000 damage or something. It's, it's absolutely terrible. And, and he does, he's not going to bleed out. You're not, you know, when you hit 10 shots, the target does, does bleed. I mean, so it, you, there is that, but it's not the 10 shot damage is indicated. So that is very misleading and they need to change the text. So, but if you do, sh do 10 shots, the bleed damage may only be five tenths of what you hit. The way they make it sound is if you shoot 10 times for 100,000 damage, the target should bleed out for 100,000 damage over the same amount of time. Essentially giving you a 100% 
DPS increase. So if you're doing 150,000 DPS, you should actually be doing 100, 300,000 DPS. Just the second half is coming as a DOT, which is damage over time for those who don't know in the MMO world speak or whatever. But the target but that's not the case and it's very misleading this is a good pvp set but the bleed is easily removed by the healing skill which does not which means that you should be bleeding out if you shoot a guy and you do a hundred thousand damage to him he should be bleeding out for a hundred thousand because it's easily the the bleed is easily removed and it, it's just ridiculous that they would even put it in the game word it the exact same way as that and then not do it it's very much similar to the email that ubisoft sent saying that season pass holders would be getting the sports team thing and then they don't give it to us it's it's just i mean it's pr pretty much the same thing so we should be used to it now some of the four gear sets work as intended but they are bugged and i would still recommend sticking with builds that favor using uh sets of like two or three of the strongest pieces that you have such as three striker and three sentry which is still one of the best sets in the game if you are sniping a lot the hunter's faith and sentry will probably be your go-to combo as it allows for a massive amount of dps uh, for that and also using striker with the uh, hunter's faith can also add DPS as well but all right, let's end on a high note because I know that's such a drag to go through all of that crap because we were just getting excited about 1.2 and then we start getting into the meat. Like this is why I didn't do this a week afterwards or a, like a couple days after the patch came out because it, it, it's, it's very much disheartening to find all this crap like without, you know, actually or even just being like, ah, praise the praise the Lord that the DPS is good and every all the bugs are fixed and everything like that. No, they just we just started finding mobile glitch covers again or mobile cover glitches again i mean this, this is getting ridiculous but let's end on a high note because this is actually an exploit that people are going to want to know about and i'm not even sure if it's an exploit but or if it's a bug or not but it has been said that the predatory perk on a weapon is not working as intended it's working better than intended and i say it because it doesn't specify whose health you should be getting 14 percent of when you kill an enemy what it does right now is it gives you 14 percent of the enemy's total health so if you're up in dz6 and you're killing level 20 34s with 5 million health you're getting 14 percent 5 million health back into your uh guy so your agent is basically healing over five seconds uh you know something like a hundred thousand health or something like that so basically you kill a guy in DZ6 you're gonna get your health back fully each time and this is this is I have not tested this out because I don't have any weapons with a predatory perk on it I would encourage you all to test this out for me and go through this this is just a rumor right now right now it's a, there's a debate as to whose health you're getting back but I would say go ahead try this and leave a comment down below as to when you tried it and what your results were did you get a huge amount of health back was it almost into instantaneous and so I just want to go ahead and do that and have that discussion is predatory broken or is it working as intended comments down below anyways that's my time I am Manny Carl and this has been another division let's talk on gun brothers gaming if you found this video helpful and informative please drop a like as it helps us to get our page uh, viewable and stuff like that and it helps us to go ahead and keep making these and consider subscribing to subscribing to our channel and you know uh, helping us out there so that you have all of the latest division news i know there's lots of other division uh youtubers out there and i thank them all because they're all very helpful they cover all the things that i don't really have time to cover uh eric's uh, skill up those guys i love those guys i listen to them i watch their videos and i go to their channels and uh, give them likes and stuff like that anyways stay frosty agents out there and we'll see you again real soon for another let's talk on the division agent out